Hey, what's up guys? It's Pigeon here on the Goose and Pigeon channel, and I am back, and we are going to open more of Sword and Shield booster packs for you guys. I got six of them today. Uh, I feel like do a bit of a lighter load this time um, because of the fact <laughs> I went to my local game store to see what they had. Um, I was going to get um, these, which I did for um, Goose for Valentine's Day, but didn't have the time to do that, so I got them today for her. So those are always nice. And uh, I saw what they had in the case, and I had to get these um, for insane value, of course. They had two Zassian Vs for $27 apiece. Uh, um, and they have a rewards program there, so I could do, um, if I had 500 points on there, I can get $30 off my purchase. So basically, I got one of these for free. And this one for like the face value right here. Um, and when he checked the price on the card, it this card went up to forty dollars just for the regular. That's nuts value. So basically, I got one copy for free. This for face value, I just saved a good. Um, let's see. So twenty seven. So basically, forty plus thirteen is uh 50 i saved basically 53 dollars for two zassian v's and i do have a full art version goose pulled one of those one day so i can make adp and i also got two adps from there as well because they're going for about 14 right now online they had them for 12 so i decided to pick up both of them so we should have a functioning zassian adp deck really soon um, I also got like an Oranguru with the Primate Wisdom ability and a Marnie on the side as well. But um, yeah, those those are actually pretty hard to come by. I just wanted to see if they had any Quick Balls. Um, they didn't have... Okay, they had one with the really old the really old one from like, you know, Sinnoh. So, but I didn't get it because it's completely different text. Um, I'm going to rip all these open while I talk. Um, but they also had one in the case. They had a Seeker Rare version, and those are going for $40 right now. Um, last time I checked for Secret Rare Quick Ball, it was like $17, $18, and that card has went up. And it's already been almost a week and a half since the release of Sword and Shield. And probably moving forward, um, the card is probably going to stay where it's at, or probably go down down um because last time i checked zassians were 30 excuse me when they came out now they're 40 so <laughs> it's gonna be a real fun time um if anyone didn't get any of their zassians when it was upon release you have probably missed out on the value right there um so i just scored big time for mine so I can probably build my deck for a lot cheaper. I'm going to open these as well. We'll be using these sleeves. If we get any holographic cards, any noteworthy cards. Um, all right. So six packs of sword and shield. Um, we're hoping for one foil out of here. I want to see what these actually look like. Oh, they feel nice too. They feel like my... Uh, East. No, they feel like the other ones. But yeah, that's what the sleeves look like. They look awesome so i have one right here i'll keep this right there all right so without further ado about four minutes in the video me talking about it let's get right into the opening so yeah i'm pretty stoked for today all right basically got all my core for sassy and adp wow why do these want to open so can't wait Big, I'm gonna make the deck. Ooh, we got a white. This is pretty awesome. So we'll give you guys the code. There you go. All right. So we already got a foil. That's awesome. 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 All right. Here we go. Drizzile, Choodle. Ooh, it looks like we got something too. If it's a Zassia, that would be pretty funny. So Snorlax. Actually, ooh, it's an Obstagoon. This is actually a really, really good card. This could be a very fearsome deck. I love that. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Um, ability, Untamed Shout. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put three damage counters on my bunch of Pokemon. 
then obstruct for a dark and a colorless for 90 during your opponent's next turn. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. And that's the key word right here, why this card is so good. Basic Pokemon. So V cards cannot touch it, but V maxes can. So if Zacian V ADP is going against Galarian Obstagoon, it's not going to do too hot against it. Anyway, let's get right into it. Second pack. I don't know why these are so hard to open. Okay, at least this card was all destroyed. And it's another holographic card. So we're already doing really good. I mean, we got a really good rare, so I'm happy about that. Um, Dark Synergy. Great ball, not that great. Why noon? Um, hopefully we get a V card. Oh, oh, nice. Another good card. Galarian Preserker. This is a really good card. Um, people have been playing this in Zacian Lucario no Metal decks. Um, your Metal Pokemon do 20 more damage to opponents active before apply weakness and resistance. Another um, key phrase before applying it. Because that actually swings in for more damage than when it says after. So already, two really good Hall Rares. So I should actually sleeve those really quick. Nice. Pull out another one really quick. Oh my god, those are amazing pulls. Really good Hall Rares. Okay. If I can, jeez, there we go. I mean, the last two are hard to open, and I got holographic cards. Oh my, we got another one, guys. Here we go. Now this that's, set is starting to love me. But hopefully we can at least get something better than a regular hollow. I mean, if we get Professor's Research or Marty, that would be great. Uh, Poke Kid, Energy Search. Um... Still looking for Quick Balls, too. A uh, Lapras and a Toxicroak. Um, I've seen some cheeky things with this, with the Alolan Grimer with Chemical Breath. I think that's what the attack is for each special condition. Um, does more damage. And this puts two poison counters. So, it's pretty decent, actually. All right. Awesome, awesome. All right, next one. Boy, is this a hollow? That was pretty funny. And, oh, wow. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay. It's nice we're getting hollows, but I want, like, you know, V cards, Aurora Energy. That is a nice card. It's a very good card in the metagame. Okay. So we'll Cinderace, and we get a Victini V. All right, so we do get a V card, and it's actually not a bad one either. Um, oh yeah, that Cinderace is really good too. It's got the Vibero ability. Um, so this card is being teched in, Fire Dex. If you don't know what it does, Spreading Flames, attach up the three fires from your discard to your Pokemon and what you like for one colorless. It's pretty nice. And then for energy burst, 30 times for double fire. Attack does 30 damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. So it's really nice. You get his Welder. So already there's 60 damage off of Welder drawing three cards. And then potentially you could smack your opponent if they have a lot of energy. So if we look at the Zacian V, it's got three. So I'm doing quick math in my head. So C60 and 90. So that's 150. Times the two for the fire weakness, so that is 300 damage. That's actually really good. So this thing can one-shot Isacian V if the V is already powered up and with a welder. It's actually really good. Really good. Next pack. So far, we're doing very well with our pull rates. This is another hard one to open. So is it going to be a hollow again? Let's see. Oh, and please. Okay. Oh my god. 
Oh, jeez. Five for five. Let's go. What if we could do six for six? That would be insane. Okay, switch. Another good card. Energy retrieval. It's another good one. All right. Grookey, that's always nice. Encino and... Oh, oh, nice. One of the best hollow rares from the set. Professor's Research. <sighs> nice. This is... Mm, nice. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. That is nice. Really nice. We're getting really good cards from these packs, guys. Oh, wow. Last pack. I'm going to move all these other commons to the side. Um, put our good ones here. Reverses. All right. Last pack. Can we go six for six hollows for this? We did not. I jinxed it, but that is okay. We did very well in our opening. We got basically four really good meta cards out of that. And I cannot complain, especially from the last opening. It was not great. So I really can't complain. Um, we got a Lumberry, another Aurora Energy. That's really nice. Um, okay, let's see what we get. Chudel, Sinsti, Sandaconda. And I think this is the good one. Yes, this is the good one. Yep, Coil for one during your opponent's next turn. Pokemon's attacks do 120 more damage to your opponent to active before applying weakness resistance. So that's pretty good. But anyway, guys, that, that was an insane opening. I will say that. So for our notable um, energy slash trainer cards, we got two Aurora energies. We got a switch and an energy retrieval. Those are very nice to have, especially the Aurora energies, which we are going to use in Zassian V just to dump those metal energies. Um... So, this was our regular non hollow rare we got, Santa Cana, which isn't bad. And now for <laughs> the cards. My. Mm. Alright, so we have the Toxicroak, which is really nice. We have the Galarian Obstacoon and the Galarian Berserker. These were really good pulls right here. And then the bread and butter of the entire video is the Professor's Research and the Victini V. Both really good cards. Wow. Um, okay. So, I am probably, like, I'm going to make proxies when I have, I'll probably make proxies right now. Uh, I'm going to try to proxy the rest of Zassi and ADP. I'll give you guys a deck profile on that and some other decks. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching, guys. We have a like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, um, leave a comment down below. Um, I'm trying to think of like a good one. Oh, what's your bet? Not best. What is your favorite hollow rare from Sword and Shield? Um, for me, it's a tie between Research and Marnie. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, guys, have a good one. And I'll see you around.